What's up everyone? My name is John. This is my Turbo 125 SSR pit bike. I'm kind of doing a little bit of a series just to show how to properly do something like this to get some really solid results. Um, in my last video, I was showing you how to do the oil feed, which is right here. Um, now I finished up the drain, which I used a couple dash six AN fittings that, that we use for like hot rods or boats or whatnot. Um, so my next part of this is the biggest part, to be honest, how I'm getting fuel inside the motor. Um, I'm doing a blow through setup. Uh, it's going, I'm mounting the carburetor directly on the turbo. So this is the factory carburetors that came with this motorcycle. Um, this flange is smaller. That flange, it, it's also cocked a different way. So, so the actual carburetor would sit like this. I'm looking to get it to sit up and down, which is the correct way. So I'm not going to be using this one anymore also because it's too small. You want to get something that is a 26 millimeter carburetor. So this is what I'll be using. It's a 26 mil. I got it off of Amazon. I think it's a knockoff of some really nice company. You see it says 26 right there. Um, one of the benefits of having a carburetor of this design is that it has kind of like a, a tube flange. So all you really need is a piece of, well, I use radiator hose um, and hose clamps and you can clock this 360 degrees. You can go anywhere you want. Um, you can do it exactly how it's supposed to be done. Um, the only problem that you have with this is with that flange, um, you have to buy a flange kit. The kit I think is like $50. It comes with the drain flange for this turbo. It comes with this flange, even though I just bolted this directly to the actual um, intake elbow. Uh, it comes with the dump flange back here where you make your dump pipe for the exhaust coming out of the turbo and then some block off plates. So I took the flange from this and I put it right here. Uh, I welded a piece of 120 wall inch and a quarter tubing. Um, I actually originally I welded it to the wrong flange, which was this one. This was the intake flange. Um, I, it looks very similar, so it was my mistake. But this one, I actually TIG welded and um, it just had horrible discoloration. Um, it needed a lot of heat, so it could have potentially warped the flange itself. Um, I did do it at an angle on purpose, so I could, uh, I'll, I'll get to that later. But um, this one, after burning in that one, I learned I'm going to weld it on the inside and I MIG welded it instead of TIG welded it and then to deburr it I used this carbide bit on my tool so that it is a nice clean straight burr. So now you need to mount this here. You see how the tube kind of comes out at an angle? That's purpose purposely done because I want the carburetor to come um, away from the front tire because once it starts hanging it's kind of a big big piece so here I'm going to do a little example um, do something like this so this is where the car carburetor will sit and then I'll clock it so it sits up straight how I want it and that's how it's gonna be. Um, some customization, you know, very minor welding. Um, I just, I own a shop where we do a lot of these cars. So I have all different types of metal tools, you know, presses, brakes, you know, so this isn't a project for someone that, you could do it in a garage, it's definitely doable, but um, I would just recommend, uh, going through what I've, I'm experiencing. You know, as far as another reason I chose this carburetor 
was because I'm able to pressurize the fuel bowl. And I took this from another video where I take my, uh, normally you could put a boost gauge here, but this is a great vacuum source. So I, I'm gonna put a T in here to tee it off to whichever side I choose. And then you also pressurize the gas tank up here with the cap. That will give you fantastic uh, fuel pressure because normally for a turbocharged application like my Camaro, uh, electric fuel pump is a lot more consistent. Um, obviously you can't really run an electric fuel pump. I mean, you can, but it'd just be kind of a pain in the ass. So this is my solution. Uh, if you have any questions, just get at me. Um, this thing's gonna be sick. Thanks.